KP. This is how we live a battery-powered lifestyle living off-grid, completely self-sufficient in a cement geodesic dome. All of our electrical power is provided by a solar array, which gives us power to run multiple computers, big screen television lights, multiple circulation pumps, etc. We also provide internet service for the valley below and frequency radio communications. A small wind generator doesn't contribute much compared to the solar array. But essentially, we have no monthly bills except for the long wind and the of propane fuels needed to run the standby generator. The sunlight from the panels are converted into power in the solar uh, power trailer. The charge controller is what the Tesla power is replaced. The charge is banked in deep sites to lay off the batteries, which the converter changes from DC to AC at 4,000 watts power to run everything. So everything we have runs totally on these batteries. And we're going to go into town, see if we can pick up a dead battery and bring it back to life using this uh, technology. Inside the battery shop, we found a battery that didn't have a place shorted out, but it's essentially dead and considered junk because it won't take a charge. The $7 cost of this little junk battery Measure the specific gravity of each cell shows whether there is a charge capacity with the battery by the float in the hydrometer in the battery acid coming up and floating. As you can see, the float won't come up, it stays at the bottom, showing no charge capacity is available whatsoever. The reason this is a junk battery and that its charge capacity cannot be restored due to sulfation crystals accumulating on the lead plates. So to show that it cannot be recharged, we will put the battery on a charger for about 24 hours and measure. It's about 10 a.m. right now. Charged by a standard battery charge. Okay, it's now around 11 a.m., over 24 hours on the left. And we charge new 12 volt battery. You can read over 13 volts, but the most we get is 12.29 volts. Now the real test is gravity because the battery can develop what is called a surface load battery can drop gravity Again, as you can see, the and all the cells with this charger incorporating a special impulse technology from Sunlight Incorporated that will potentialize the ions in the battery and make it useful again and it's around 4 p.m. right now starting. It is now around 11 a.m. and the green full charge light has gone on and you can see the voltage has risen up to about a little over 13 volts. Here you can see the hydrometer float now coming up on all the cells showing that this battery can now store 
useful power once again. Please note that this is only a single charge, whereas if I was to use this same advanced technology to recharge it more than once, the battery's capacity would increase with each subsequent charge, showing a dramatic increase in the battery's capacity to deliver power. This home demonstration is only to show what a difference this type of battery charging can do for the battery industry. Not only will it bring back a dead battery, but it will bring back greater capacity as well to new batteries and maintain them in an optimal condition to greatly extend the life of the battery. As you can see, 